Alright, hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Phantom Brigade. This is a new game that has been coming out for quite a while. Could have sworn I was in early college days whenever this was coming out, but uh, yeah, it finally came out, and it's a super exciting game. I would say it's kind of like Zoid's Assault, uh, mixed with that uh, like square turn-based game where you're like future tra time travelers trying to find like a timeline where you win against the kaiju or something, but... Uh, yeah, um, I think it takes place in like a Sweden-esque kind of environment, so really cool, like twists for every end, something original, but uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get right into it. I'm going to start a new game. I did do a little bit of audio testing uh, beforehand, and it is ridiculously loud. It is so loud, uh, it was kind of hard to find the right levels. Sorry to strap you in so early today, Lieutenant, but we'll have to cut our checks short. We've lost the town comms last night, and I'd like you to take a look at the tower we have half a click north from here. Ah, uh, sounds good to me. Okay, so we have our typical cam camera controls. Uh, it's inverted mouse button, but uh, yeah, we got a nice little town on a cliff over here. Uh, very gorgeous graphics, already enjoying it a lot. Left mouse, click on that unit. Then it has information. I'm not exactly sure what this information is. Uh, some command center in the distance there. Sorry, I was just looking at all that. Left click to open up the action list. I want to run. And we'll just left click. And I want to hey, break Lieutenant, free. They're still installing the prototype in my rig, so don't hog all the action till I catch up. Yes, it's not the most exciting test run of our new tech, but we've got people here counting on us, so let's move out. Okay. Whoa. What happened here? <laughs> Probably just some damn rowdy civilians. HQ, this is Special Field Ops Team Bravo requesting immediate repair detail. Over. This is HQ. Negative, Commander. Repair detail busy until further notice. Stand by. What could they be busy with? Well, let's see if we can't do a little more recon. Boot up that shiny new device Ops installed in your rig, and we'll see what she's made of. Okay. Those dang ratty civilians going for uh, critical comm equipment. <laughs> they just don't know what to stop. Okay. This timeline displays your planned actions and predicts uh, what every unit will do within the next five minutes. Okay. We get I'll the hot bar. one side of the tower. If she's warmed up, you should be able to see where I'm moving and flank the opposite side. Yep, we're flanking towers now. Super high tech. We will do the wait action. Now it targets the direction and duration of the wait. And then I'll move. Then we can exit. Execute. So everything is turn based on like a five second timeline. Is this some surprise war games maneuver? HQ, we have an unmarked non-cooperative tank at location 2SBR15. Confirm intent, over. HQ, confirm, over. Lieutenant, I'm getting a heat signature from the tank's power core. Check your prototype. If that tank even twitches, cripple it. With pleasure, sir. With pleasure. Uh, that kind of looks like, I think, the German anti-aircraft gun, if I'm... Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Uh, but yeah, we're going to move over here, and then we're going to shoot it in the face. So we target like that. I kind of want to shoot it whenever we have like the best option available to us in terms of ability to hit it. Which was right there, I think. Okay, cool. Then we can do multiple attacks in a turn. Glock him again. I think we can only do two attacks, I guess. Wow, that thing is just blasting. Okay, I think that is armor that we have right here. Good read on the tank. Yeah, yeah. I'm hit, but just a scratch. 
What? I'm picking up multiple targets from the north. My god, this can't be right. Take cover! Take cover! Do you not have to tell me twice? Um, it is quite interesting that they're invading a small town here. I guess there's some strategic value this in it, is I guess. War game. Commander, multiple contacts just appeared on our forward slope. Weapons ready. Treat us hostile. <laughs> this is not a drill. Intercept and protect the town. We're on our way. Roger, heading out. HQ, come in. HQ, do you read? Pinned down by two trash. Returning fire. Pretty sure those are Abrams. Got one. Shit, a walker. Lieutenant, get the... Commander? Commander! Taking defensive position. The commander's down, but we have to focus. We have citizens to protect. There's a walker and multiple treads on approach. Remember, if things go to hell, set self-destruct and punch out, so they can't salvage our prototype. Whatever happens, let's meet at evac point R09. Okay, okay. Protect the town. Enemy forces are attacking the town. Eliminate them using three units at your disposal. Okay. This light mech is carrying an assault rifle and a submachine gun. It is best equipped for medium range. Circle the enemy and take advantage of its speed to avoid hits. This mech has a shotgun, which inflicts high damage at close range. You can use shield action to block attacks while closing the distance. And this mech carries a heavy beam weapon. It is slow, but powerful. The beams can cut through cover and hit multiple targets at once. Alright, so we lost the commander. His body is nowhere to be found. And we are here to eliminate all hostiles and protect the town. It is an invasion. I'm pretty sure those tanks are Abrams, so we're definitely being invaded by NATO or something, because I'm sure those are also German tanks. But, uh, who am I but a humble, humble civilian? Uh, we are going to generally just get our turn to set up. She want a hill over here. And we'll probably get you to fire at somebody, especially at the beginning of your turn. I'm kind of curious if I can sweep this beam to the right. Can I... Sh no, he just, he just points the beam. Okay. All right, well, let's get to our defensive positions, and we'll go ahead and try to set up the town, or defend the town. Ah. He doesn't move? Interesting. He just kind of points in one direction and fires. Well, boy, do I have a job for you. I, I wish I could... Can I select... Oh, in the heat of battle, it can be hard to keep track of everything. Click here to replay the last five seconds of combat. Hover over your timeline to review specific points in time, or use time controls to watch the action on repeat. Okay, once you've done with the replay, return to planning by clicking here. Sounds good to me. So we can get like a play-by-play -play of our whoop-ass. That's awesome. I'm really curious as to if I can shoot somebody with this. Let's just blast the mech there. I really don't want that mech to survive. Um, we will wait till he gets there. And then we are just going to absolutely open up on this mech right here. Actually, can we open up even sooner? I'll open up on that guy. We'll move you around the side here. And we'll have you open fire around here. And this guy's just gonna lay into the rear line here. And can the assault oh can the assault rifle do it? No, I can't, okay. Uh, fire secondary at select the target. Okay, heating. This action will heat up the unit. Avoid overheating by spacing apart these actions on the timeline. Interesting. There's some stats here. Uh, crash upon collisions with medium or heavy objects, but remain stable when colliding with light objects. So I can literally have my units run into people. So this is a heavy, so I could literally just have her stomp on people. And this is also heavy. Okay. And they have a heavy and a handgun. 
I'm guessing I, I can't tell him to use his handgun. She has a shield. And we have an assault rifle and an SMG. The SMG is the second secondary. And it doesn't do as much damage as the Oshar. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's cool now. A little breakdown of our units there, but let's let's see this unveil. Okay, the mech has lost its right arm. And it's about to get another face full of lead. And they're going to quickly try and attack this mech. But he's going to open fire before he runs away. Yeah, he won't be able to fire again. I'll move you in the open here. Is he going to get shot at? Yeah, he's going to shoot him. How dare you. You finish off that mech. And then we are just going to keep opening fire on everybody in existence here. Well, he's already going to get shot at. That is a, that is a can of whoop ass right there. I do say so myself. And you are going to open fire there and try to kill that tank. Okay. Let's do it. There goes the mech. I'm not sure if I could tell if he was going to die or not from that screen. Lovely. We're going to come back out of cover, and you are going to open up right here. Just tell that guy what for. I don't think it is telling me what his health is going to be like after. Yeah, I'm just going to open up on him, I guess. Doesn't seem like he's going to die. You go bang. And by bang, I mean you run in the middle of these guys and you shoot them as much as possible. And I assume this will kill this guy. And you're just going to alakablam just for the fun of it. Okay, cool. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Well, thank you. All right. Well, that's victory. Squad extracted early. All objectives complete. Almost at the cliff. Go, go, go! Into the forest! If anyone can hear me, we have people counting on us to retake what they've taken from us. Even if we are the last ones left. Okay, nice intro mission. threads are converging. There's nothing more we can do here. It's a final time for some shut eye. No. Not today. Oh my. Okay, so by the time we realized what was happening, it was too late. We were at war. The border towns and cities were hit first. Communications cut, and residents chased from their homes. In their place, they erected military outposts that still watch us to this day. We fought back, and for a while, we even held down the capital. 
but we were outmaneuvered and outnumbered, outgunned. Eventually, those of us who didn't surrender had to escape. For years, the government has operated in exile, along with the Home Guard, the remaining remnants of our country's military. They have been fighting tirelessly against impossible odds. But they can't do it alone. We answer to no one, nothing but the call. And now, after years of training, preparing, waiting, the Phantom Brigade is coming home. Okay. Welcome home, Brigade. You peer out at the vast stretch of land before you. Your home, now a battleground, is familiar as an old friend. With its deceptively quiet mountains and fields at your back, your crew awaits your orders. Uh, you need supplies, parts, and a place to, hunk to bunker down. A pilot points to a spot on the map directly ahead of you, Falheim Base, which once belonged to, your, to the homeland. In the days before the war, it, it will belong to you again. Okay, acknowledged. So we still got the typical camera controls. Objectives and background activities are displayed here for additional information. Okay, pause or speed up the overworld time. I can adjust speed by just kind of clicking my mouse button there. Right mouse button the side ahead of you to move. If you've ever lost, press tab to return to base. Okay, that's nice to hear. I'll press tab. Never mind. It's I guess it's making sure I read this. Okay, we're going to Valheim base. Okay, well this is awesome. So we have a whole map to go a conquering. And I'm not sure which state this is. They're probably gonna be like super nonchalant with it. Valheim base, once a mining facility, uh, later retrofitted as an emergency storage depot. Then the invaders came and like everything else, it fell into enemy hands. You're thinking it too, right? Ask your pilot, grinning. If we can capture the facility, we'd have a home base to fall back to. If we needed it, it would get us a foothold in the province and hit them hard while we're at it. Uh, it's an opportunity you can't pass up. The battles ahead will challenge you and shape the country's future. You need to take every advantage you can get. And it starts with Felheim. Suit up. Uh, I imagine they're going to be nondescripts about... Uh, what countries are fighting or what's happening. Pretty sure this is NATO that's invading, <laughs> just shooting civilians. And I think this is like a Sweden-esque kind of area. I'm not sure, I'm not too familiar with the cultures or peoples of that area. I just assume. Uh, it's a little snowy and cold. I, okay, HQ. I don't know why I'm not able to hear them. That's weird. Um, hopefully that's not a reoccurring problem. Reinforcements, more enemies incoming. Use cover to avoid damage and eliminate enemies quickly to keep things under control. Use this corner to track objectives, turns remaining until enemy reinforcements and other information. Okay, eliminate all hostiles and enemy reinforcements are expected to land soon in a couple turns. Wow, so 10 seconds. Take out the enemy units quickly before reinforcements arrive. Oh, this is us. Do we get a new paint job? Oh, can we customize our mix? That's awesome. All right. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I feel a little rushed into the story. I haven't been able to bond, I guess, with the people's struggle or generally with the pilots for now. But uh, let's just keep going, shall we? Uh, this guy is going to... Anyway, he started blasting, I imagine. We're going to have you come up this way. And they're going to try to shoot at my mech here. And we're just going to have you guys. Hopefully you don't collide with each other. It kind of looks like you're going to collide. Oh, wow. There is collision. Okay. Um, no, no, no. We will. Hold on. You're going to wait for like a few seconds. Can I specify how long the wait is? I guess not. Okay, well, you're going to move here, and then you're going to continue to run here. Oh my gosh. Why are you guys...
is colliding? Stop it. Okay, well, this obviously ain't gonna work. Um, you're just gonna come right around here. And I think you're just gonna move up over here. You're just gonna rush right in, honestly. I say that, but I really don't want you to because you're probably gonna get killed. Alright. You're gonna get shot. You're all good and done there. You're just going to open up. Kind of whoop ass on that guy. Okay, and we do have temperature here. We have heat. Can damage the unit over time, space out attacks, or other heat generating actions to give the unit time to cool down. Okay, so we can't just go a blast like we did last time. I think there's actually consequences to our actions this time. Let's just go ahead and kill this guy. Okay. Unit will be damaged. Why? Shoot him. This will overheat the unit. Okay. Well, let's not overheat our units, shall we? And you're not going to get overheated, are you? No, you're going to get pretty close. Alright, let's execute. Let's see how much damage you take. These seem to be like light tanks. Wow. Took that shield like a champ. I'm glad that I can see the future. Yeah, you're gonna shoot this guy in the freaking face. And hopefully that will finish him off. And you are gonna go wide here. I'm kind of assuming that these uh these runs also generate a little bit of heat. I really don't want to damage my unit the, the, if I can if I can resist it. Okay, well, you're going to get shot. I'd rather you not get shot in the face. Right. Can I slide? No, I can't slide anything in there. Okay, let's do it again. Wow, did I take him out in two turns exactly? I did. That's kind of annoying. Let's deal with the enemy and report to command. There will be no activity here for a while. I have no idea who these walkers are. Okay, there's a walker here. So you took some damage because you overheated. But you're fine now? I'm not sure. Let's get you nice and close to this guy. And it doesn't look like he's going to pay any attention to our mech over here. So I'm just going to open fire. He is going to try to shoot this guy, though. Actually, let's just, let's just open up. Oh, that'll overheat us. Okay, well, whenever you're done opening up, just run for it. Just get behind that building. Oh, I'm taking that tank with me, I guess. Okay, well, he's still opening fire. Uh, you are going to shoot him in the face whenever you round the corner. And I don't want you to overheat, which is kind of annoying. Hopefully I can upgrade your core or something so I can just alica blam everybody in the whole vicinity. Uh, I want you to shoot him. Shoot him, please. But I'm going to overheat this turn. Okay, who's getting shot at? You're getting shot at. Alright, we'll put our shield up here. In his direction. Is that going to heat us up? No, it doesn't look like it will. It's just our shotgun heats us up a lot. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Alright, let's just stare at each other angrily. <laughs> Do not let him get away. Is he actually retreating? Open fire. I'm just going to have to open fire all the way, I guess. 
I'm not going to overheat the other one. I'm going to overheat this guy. Let's just one at a time. I'm assuming we'll do... I'll overheat this guy. Because I need to make sure he doesn't escape. Oh my gosh. Wow, we actually took a bit of a beating there. Well, thankfully he's kind of in a corner. We're going to shoot him in the face. In the beginning, of course. And I want you to die. Please die. This guy is just not dying. Alright, you're overheating. You will be overheating whenever you fire this. I want you to, like, just absolutely shoot him. Right here, I guess. Okay. And who's he gonna fire at? I hope not my boy, because that would suck. Okay, let's go. There we go. All right. Victory! After combat, the engineer crew has the chance to conduct a salvage operation. Okay, sites can store equipment and resources that can be recovered at no cost. So we have supplies. We have two SG shreds. We have a hostile mech that's destroyed a contact. Two medium torsos. Oh, we can get parts. Uh, a burst rifle, an L medium arms, and medium legs. Enemy units can also yield loot. Recovering them will cost points from your salvage budget. This weapon is worth recovering. Left click to take it. Okay, recovering parts will use up your salvage budget. With destroyed parts, cost more to recover. Okay, but not everything is worth recovering. A lower cost option is to scrap a part for resources instead. Okay. After the budget is allocated, it is time to deploy the salvage crew. Click here once you're satisfied with your picks. So we can dismantle, convert it into supplies. This has lower salvage cost and full recovery. Or we can abandon and just leave it on the battlefield. Um... Collect the equipment to use in your mechs. So, an enemy mech? Whoa, that is not. Oh, that's the whole thing. This is everything attached to that mech. Okay. Interesting. I would like to keep this shotgun. A medium torso would be cool. Uh, let's scrap this arm. Scrap arm. Keep the assault rifle. I could scrap the torso. I could scrap both the arms. Uh, the legs. Okay, I would like to keep everything because convert an item into supplies. Okay, but we're gonna keep the assault rifle, but not the not anything else. So we're gonna get two hundred and seven supplies from this. It's an unknown pilot, I guess. Congratulations, the enemies. All right, cool. After the budget has been allocated, let's get the heck out of here. Oh, so each part has heat dissipation, and we have heat generation. And we have barriers. I guess we have shields. This is decently in the future, I'd imagine. Okay, start the salvage. The crew discovers an enormous, heavily fortified vehicle on the base. Inside, there's ample space to accommodate pilots and crew, complete with a bay to house mechs. It's creaky from disuse, but still otherwise intact. You run your hand along the surface of its enormous tire thread treads. And at your side, an engineer breathes in awe. I never thought I'd see one of these in person. What a find! With this mobile base, you'll be able to take the fight out onto the road, striking the enemy with when they don't expect it, and even outfitting your mechs out in the field. This will take your campaign a long, long way. Mech customization is now available. Click the unit screen to begin. Okay. This is the mobile base's unit screen. Here you can inspect every mech in your roster. Okay. Click this button to edit the selected unit. You can also double click or long press a unit in the list to do the same. All right, this is the editing screen. You can inspect and swap out individual parts by unit. Uh, we picked up a primary weapon after the fight. Navigate to the primary weapon slot to inspect the installed one. 
This is the currently equipped weapon. You can hover over elements in the window to see detailed explanations. These are the parts in your inventory compatible with the current socket. As you require more, you can take advantage of this filter and sort options above to refine the list. Okay. Hover over weapon to view the stat changes. New weapons have a higher level. Keep your mechs updated to face stronger opponents, as damage is scaled with the, with the level. Equip a new weapon by double clicking or long pressing it from the list. Oh, this is a shotgun, okay. I was like, what? Note that the stats and the average level of your unit have increased. Consider the unit's overall performance when refitting. A weapon's power might have trade-offs in weight and speed. Okay, once you're done exploring unit customization, click here to return to the base. From there, you can return to the overworld. All right, we just have a shotgun, really. And I kind of probably want to keep the shotgun with the shields, people. It's ballistic. Invictus, despite being a multi-billion dollar company these days, Invictus has retained their scrappy, independent underdog image in all their marketing. So we have a barrier here. What is the barrier? Is that our shield? Is that like an actual shield? Hello? Regeneration outer armor absorbs damage first, protecting part integrity. Regenerates over time when a unit is not under fire. Regeneration consumes liquid fix. Liquid fix. Okay, I have no idea what that is. These are the abilities it has. Oh, I can get a nice side view from it. Very nice. And I can switch mechs. I'm good. Yeah, okay. Can I scrap this? Since I, uh... Goodness, I hope so. And we don't have any upper bodies or lower bodies. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, we can customize it. Okay. Can we save paint decals? Interesting. Well, uh, give me a second. I think I might want to spray paint my mechs. Okay, this is kind of what we're going to go for here. Nothing too special. I just kind of want some color coordination in terms of uh, us telling our people apart. But uh, I like a blue and gold, but I think the best I could do is a blue and white there. Uh, but let's go back to the overworld because we have uh, stuff to do. All right, we have our mobile base here. And we, I think we took this, yeah. So do we have any objectives for ourselves? Where there's need, incoming message from home guard boss. A pilot calls to you already breathless in the news. They've intercepted a call from civilians seeking aid and we can get in there fast, faster than the army. Further details reveal that enemy troops commandeered a nearby village and availed themselves of the area's resources. One brave villager finally managed to get a hold of a radio and sent a message. She heard enemy soldiers murmuring about guerrilla fighters in the area and took her chance. We gotta help them out before things get worse, says the pilot. Okay, that's the village in the area. It's the Felheim base. I don't think we can interact with this directly, but uh, yeah, let's go to the village. There's a little mobile whoop-ass station. What happens if we, like, try to edit while we're moving? Oh, that's cool. Okay, we also have our pilots here. Sierra. Brash. Okay, they have little things, little little traits. We need more mechs to deploy more people, I'm guessing. Oh, they took some damage in the last fight, too. Okay. Let's just accelerate this so we can get there faster. I'm already really enjoying this. I can tell this is going to be a very long, interesting campaign, and hopefully we find a lot more cool mechs along the way. We can't go in there guns blazing as usual, pilot says to another. This isn't a base or a battlefield. These peop these are people's homes. What brings up a list of things to contend with? Uh, it doesn't matter if you liberate the civilians if they have nowhere to live after the smoke clears. Now comes the test of your strategizing and training. Okay, the mobile base can scan the site in advance. You can customize your squad before uh, battle based on the available intel. Carefully inspect the key aspects of the mission, enemy composition, and relative strength of your squad before deploying. Okay, the hollow tables lets you preview the terrain, unit positions, and key locations. Here you can see how many units can be deployed and decide which mechs and pilots to send out. Click squad and deploy when you're ready to proceed. All right, we got the longbow. I mean, we only have two mechs to begin with. The squad will be filled with combat-ready pilots and units with the highest 
Okay. Okay, yeah. Someone was hurt. Uh, this is medium. Predicted for a squad. Difficulty. A mix of reserve troops led by oddball elite specialist, specialists. What they lack in skill and experience, they make up for in sheer number. Enemies are ready to immediately engage, so keep your wits about you. And they brought back up. Reinforcements are on the perimeter and may be deployed during battle. They're dug in like ticks. Bait the enemy to bring them out of cover or use indirect fire weapons. Oh my gosh, if there's artillery in this game, I'm excited. A chime rings out, but you can destroy the certain alarm locations of the map to prevent enemy reinforcements from detecting and deploying. Uh, take care not to incur too many casualties. I'm guessing there's actual civilians out there. Alright, let's get to it. Hopefully we uh, don't have acceptable losses or acceptable casualties out there. So many lives lost. So much devastation. This isn't what I wanted for you. I thought you'd be born in a time of peace and prosperity. Of love among people. But the world is so different now. Tanks patrol the streets. Neighbors turn on neighbors. People disappear in the night. They keep telling us this is temporary. That we'll come to love our new way of life. Somehow, I don't believe them. I want to give you the freedom I once had. But how can we few do that alone? We can't keep hope alive for much longer. We pray that someone, anyone, will answer our call. Okay, very cool, Kanye. I like the hype. I really like the hype. The enemies will be more challenging from here on. Complete objectives quickly and use cover to avoid taking damage. Okay. Uh, they're basically telling me I'm going to get my ass whooped. Avoid using important civilian buildings as cover to protect them from damage. Destroy this alarm tower to halt enemy reinforcements. You can target the environment while aiming your attacks. Left control, alternate targeting mode. Oh, that's probably how I do that laser thing. And this home guard unit has joined the fight. Use its long range weapon to strike enemies from afar. They'll be awaiting your orders. Try not to get them killed. So we got a sniper now. And it just decided to join the battle. Okay, this is awesome. I've been wanting a sniper. And it seems like they're going to engage. Well, at least one of them is going to engage him. The rest are coming towards us. Okay. Uh, destroying this alarm tower to prevent deployment of reserve units. I think I will leave that up to my boy here. Oh yeah, don't use that civilian thing as cover. Understood. We're just going to go here. Eject pilot. Rescuing the pilot from the battlefield renders the unit inoperable for the remainder of the fight. Irreversible action. Okay, so now I can eject. Uh, this is not going to do a whole ton of damage, is it? No. I don't understand the point of the secondary. It doesn't seem to really... I mean, it scatters a lot, but... And it takes longer to fire. <laughs> I, I guess I can shoot it more often. I don't know. Let's go ahead and just uh, open up right there. Click, click a unit to lock target or to target environment control. Okay, yeah, just uh, I'm assuming two will be needed for. Ah, you're gonna overheat. That's annoying. All right, well, let's move you just right into the middle of everything. It doesn't seem like they're going to shoot you. Actually, somebody's going to shoot you right there. So we're going to... I think you're going to fire at him. But we're going to have a shield up here. And then... Uh, Alaka Blam. Lovely. Okay, you. Lovely little thing, you. Do you have a handgun? I want you to just absolutely dome this dude. Wow, you are not going to be able to hit him, are you? And that heats you up quite a bit. 
Um, actually, let's just let's attack this tank that's going to be coming around the corner when she comes. Yep, they'll open fire. Hopefully, dome them, kill them. Let's uh, let's go for it. Did he just launch a missile at us? I'm not sure if that's going to smack... Uh, keep up the pressure on that tower. Just a little more and we'll have it knocked out. Okay. It seems like that missile's going to come and shoot me in the face. Um, I am concerned. But it doesn't look like anyone's going to shoot me this turn. Well, this guy anyway. So I am immediately going to uh, absolutely just shoot you in the face again. And it looks like you're about to get shot. I can't take cover behind those civilian areas. I would like to actually see you actually hit me. Because you are far away. Hopefully they don't get like a, a bonus to being a tank. So they have like better, I don't know, aiming. I'm not sure. And you didn't kill him? I guess you'll just fire again. Okay. Oh, it's already dead. Okay, I was a little surprised for a second because it looked like he got hit, but he didn't. It kind of looks like I got hit, but maybe my shield's just regenerating. They've taken down our alarm. Reinforcements aren't coming, so now is not the time to get lax. A general? What the heck? Who? I love how they're not shooting the guy with the shotgun right in front of them. That's awesome. gonna move him to engage over here because we have uh he's coming to attack my sniper which i'm not okay with and i'm guessing you can't fire too well whenever you have or whenever you're moving it i'm assuming at this no not at the start of the turn let's let him get around the corner and just open fire uh hopefully my sniper doesn't die Oh, he hit him. Oh, he's sending a missile. Uh. Wow. Ow, that hurt a lot. He is sending another missile. Thankfully, I'm not quite dead just yet. Let's see if I can get away from him before that missile comes and annihilates me and just open fire. Uh, you just kill this guy. Okay. Shotgun is gonna do shotgun things here. Yeah, whenever you're right on top of it, just open fire. I pray my sniper doesn't die. Okay, it seems like the missiles will. You're kidding. Oh, wow, I was about to say. It seems like the missiles a long range thing. And thankfully, the civilian building here didn't get hit. I think. I don't know. I damaged a lot of civilian sites, but that wasn't me. I really want that gun that they had. Okay, these are just straight rewards that I'm getting. The Elpris, it's a medium torso. This subsystem has increased salvage cost due to damage is sustained. I'm gonna try to take this torso. Oh wow, we actually have quite a bit of the budget. Okay. Hey, look at us, we're gonna salvage everything. It's damaged, though. I don't know if it's going to be forever damaged. That would really suck if that were the case. But uh, let's keep going. Starting salvage. Yep. Once uh, one of your pilots sleeps down from their mech, face flush from the heat of battle and high, the high of the victory. Let's prove these Liberator rumors true, they call out, raising cheers from the rest of the crew. A grueling journey lies ahead of you, but the role of hope cannot be forgotten. It has sustained the civilians this long, and under these conditions, perhaps it can sustain you too. If you can secure the province, what's stopping you from taking back your homeland? With bolstered hope, you can continue forward. With your recent efforts, uh, for now the civilians are safe. However, your numbers are too small to permanently hold the area. Ensure the people's continued safety means calling in home guard forces before the invaders can reoccupy. You've built up enough momentum to contest the province and take back control. When you deliver the news to your crew, they buzz with a mix of anticipation and nerves. This was always your goal. You might be a small rebel unit, but with your prediction tech, you could help turn the tide of a war. One of the pilots falls heavily into a seat. They're grin at odds with their posture. Then let's do it, they say. No stopping now. 
As guerrilla force, you can't hold territory against the enemy's forces on your own. The village you've liberated today won't stay that way for long, especially if the enemy has dispatched a new garrison. To advance the homeland's liberation, you will need to help. You will need the help of the home guard. Contest the province to call in home guard. Home guard will engage the enemy, tying them down and giving you opportunities to strike at key objectives. Distracted, the enemy won't be taking back taking sights back. The village you have liberated will be the least of their worries. Okay, you can call in home guard to fight in the province. Your brigade can't hold a province all on its own by striking key objectives. Yep. You can see the state of the allied enemy forces above. The province will be liberated if the enemy forces are depleted and lost if home guard forces run out. Do we just, like, have a military in exile? Like, how are we doing this? Objectives will be designated by the home guard throughout the conflict. Take them out to weaken the enemy's power. Get this, that commander the home guard's been after? His patrol just broke down. Your scouts point to a location on the map. Now's the time to mount an ambush. Upon hearing the news, one of your pilots begins nervously drumming their fingertips against the control panel. If we hit him hard now and manage to get their commander, he won't be able to lead troops back into the village, they say. Their tapping intensifies. We free the people for real. Interesting. Okay, so we have a station patrol there. We're gonna obviously intercept. But while we're going, let's look at these new units that we have. Um, we have... I thought we had more mechs. What's, what's going on here? Inventory. All parts. Oh, is that just a home guard, dude? Ah, oh, that makes me sad. How do I... What, what am I doing? Oh, I can actually name it. Wow, there is a there is a bunch of different roles. Oh my gosh. I'm not exactly Yeah, there we go. Did we get a sniper? We did get a marksman rifle. We got two marksman rifles in fact. Um I do kind of want a sniper. I think snipers are super cool. And that's just kind of my playstyle. Can I adjust its secondary? Secondary weapon. I could just straight up give it a shield. With a sniper rifle. <laughs> okay. These are literally the same arm, but I guess it has a different serial number. I don't know why that number right there is changing. The integrity will go up. A medium arm. Heat dissipation. Oh, okay, I see. These were level one arms, but now I have level two arms. I don't think I need that right now. For this person, at least. Especially if he's going to be a sniper, he's going to be hanging back. I will adjust my uh, shotgun and shield guy, though, with the increased arms. Mostly because I don't want him to die. Okay, level two legs. Yeah, I just level him up all the way, I guess. And we got a level 2 shotgun, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we got a level 2 mech now. That's awesome. We don't have anything else for you, do we? No. We can upgrade you later. That's fine. It's a sniper anyway. And I see we're still not quite there. Whoopsie. I wonder what the circle around us is. Well, this province is looking a little worse for wear with all this artillery fire. <laughs> Commanding attention. Any closer and you'll lose the element of surprise. Your scout reports as you approach the enemy commander's broken down convoy. Make sure you're ready to go, boss. Poised on the edge of the battle, each of your pilots radios in that they're ready to go. Let's do it. Um, did that? Marksman rifle and handgun. Oh, I'm just going to check this real quick. I saw it change a few things. I was a little concerned about that. No, everything's still pretty much the same. Okay. Do you have, like... Is someone, like, better at sniping? Like, what, uh... He's a demolitions expert. I'm I'm unsure how it decides to choose those pilots. It doesn't look like they have any special things right now. So far, it looks like they're just story-based deployments, victories, units killed. 
Okay, engage a group of hostiles with no support and eliminate them. Can be accomplished with two to three units. We've got your back. This base will approach the combat throughout the battle, and you can retreat if you need to. Okay, why will the base approach? That's interesting. A mix of reserve troops led by oddball elite specialists. They're already here. Enemies are ready to immediately engage, so keep your wits about you. So they don't know we're here, but they're ready to engage us. And this will be easy for us. Level 1.6, so... Yeah. I think we'll be good. Let's go for it. I can't wait to get more mechs on the battlefield. Okay, press escape. I'm um, good. I'd rather see the nice new visuals. Okay. It's looking sexy. It's looking sexy. Rebels are clinging to the rumors about a phantom brigade, huh? Let's show them why only children believe in fairy tales. Whatever you say, sir, just keep the comms on your unit intact. Alright. VIP is piloting this mech. Try to surround and concuss him. Concussive damage depletes pilot health. The pilot will be knocked out when the bar reaches zero. Concussion damage is doubled for hits from the back. So that's the pilot's health, okay. Health on deployment, damage until concussion. Okay, once the VIP is eliminated, prepare to retreat. To retreat, move your units here and plan a retreat action. I don't know if I mentioned it, I probably did. But I really enjoy that it doesn't yank my attention in cutscenes and stuff, like it doesn't pull my screen. That that stuff is kind of annoying to me. Uh, uh, 10 out of 10, do not like sometimes. Okay, well you're gonna get shot at here. But I don't think he's gonna be able to do anything because he's gonna hit the freaking wall. Uh, so let's just straight lock this commander in the back of the head. And for my sniper unit, let's just immediately shoot him in the back. <laughs> Alright, and uh, we will execute this this turn. Oh, I see he fires multiple shots. Out of the plan. Okay, I thought it was like... I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, your first shot will be into his back, and then you're going to immediately defend yourself against him. And you, sir, are going to continue to hopefully not shoot your partner in the back. Looks like a 100% chance of a hit. You kind of side strafe a little bit. Just get out of his way. And we, I'll have to move my shield here. Whatever, he actually has a line of sight on me. Let's do it a little bit before, just in case anything weird happens. Okay. Let's execute. There goes the commander. Okay, he just shot me again. That's nice. Commander, we lost our VIP. Requesting permission to fall back over. Extraction is available. Extract to attain easy victory or stay and eliminate hostiles for bigger rewards. Yeah, you're going to immediately throw that shield up. Um, and whenever you can, I want you to... Ah, oh, great. He's going to... Right here, I want you to open fire on him. And as soon as you're done with that, he seems like he's going to open fire. So we'll just do that. And can you... You're going to hit your friend in the back. I'm going to move you... Right there. And if you can... I want you to open fire on him. Please don't shoot your friend in the back. Oh my gosh, he's going to constantly shoot his friend in the back, isn't he? Uh, Alright, let's cancel that move real quick. Okay, that is the optimal range. Try to soak up some of that damage at the beginning. He's going to shoot him in the back. And then he's immediately going to defend. Okay, that's good. And then I'm going to have you just... Can you get a good shot without shooting your friend in the back? I think so. Okay, yeah, that should work. Let's do it. Okay, yeah, he just soaked up that damage. It's fine. Alright, we got him outnumbered, outgunned. He's going to He's going to keep going, isn't he? You just open fire again. Shoot him in the back, please. And we're going to have our, our dude bro here kind of pursue him. 
Uh, you're gonna cross into his fire, aren't you? Don't like that. Immediately open fire on him. You're gonna cross over here, hopefully not get shot in the back by your friend. And we're gonna toss up a shield. Nice little block here. Okay, let's go for it. Let's see if we shoot him in the back. Hopefully we don't, because we're kind of on an upper elevation here, but I wouldn't be surprised if we don't let him go back ahead. Okay. That was nice. Flawless victory. I did get shot, though, so not quite as flawless as I would like it to be. I could have sworn there was, like, melee or something, but I guess not. Okay, he has a medium torso. With a hurricane machine gun. That thing was pretty pretty scary looking. Looks like it's meant for like really close range. Let's see if we can just A, we can't just harvest everything. And we get an SR1 midway sniper rifle. Okay, so we got some batteries. Yeah, let's uh let's go for it. I wonder what determines how much of a salvage budget we get. After a victory like that, you're no doubt on the invading army's radar. Good. Hopefully eliminating a key target in the province will wither their resolve. These invaders should know that the Phantom Brigade is here and here to stay. Your crew, expectant, gathers around you. You look each of, each of them in the eye and take a breath. Encouragement ready on your tongue. Keep your momentum. On the other side of the province, things aren't good. Home guards comms are harried. Ambush, heavy losses, surrounded. They need your help, and they need it now. Okay. Battles will break out in contested provinces. Aim the home guard to turn the tides, but don't take too long or the province will get lost. Okay. Is this like a do or die situation? I'm pretty sure it will just lower some of their reserves. Is fighting the invaders at a location. Join the battle before the battle site runs out of time or the home guard's war score will be reduced. Okay, so it's war score. Oh, that's our detection range. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a base. Interesting. I am kind of looking forward to shooting that in the base. Oh, also, before we get too close, let's uh, let's kind of upgrade our longbow here. So we have a sniper rifle. I wonder what determines like how many how many pew pews it's gonna do per turn. I'm not sure if that says it or not. It has a heat generation. Oh, it's minus heat generation. The subsystem is welded to the part, can't be replaced. That is very cool. We definitely don't need a shield. We'll just keep a handgun. Uh, let's upgrade the torso. Because it's certainly time for our sniper to be upgraded. And now he's level 2. Very cool. He's on the same level. Uh, a very scary looking robot there, if I do say so myself. A robot with a sniper rifle. That's scary. <laughs> to make... The caliber of weapon needed for a robot to hold a sniper rifle is scary. You're just in time. The battlefield is a desperate place of crossfire. We can we can hold them with the rail guns, but not for long, the home guard commander reports. Your pilots leap into action. Ready when you are, boss, one says. Let's get them out of this mess. I am ready. Okay, they just switched mechs. I'm not sure why, but this is going to be hard. A uh, mix of reserve troops. Okay, they pretty much the same thing. They're ready to immediately engage. Keep your wits about you. Age a group of hostiles with no support and eliminate them. It can be accomplished in two to three turns. All right, let's go for it. Hopefully one day I'll get more mechs. Let's go, squad. That was kind of a Frostpunk alarm. I don't know if anyone heard that. That was cool. <laughs> All my favorite games. Hopefully uh, the maps are also all right, like randomly generated, or there's a lot of maps to go through. I really dislike it when games have like the same repetitive maps. It kind of, I dare say, makes the play style kind of a little distasteful and bland. Like Steel Division 2, I love Steel Division 2, but uh, the maps just kind of really take it out for me. Okay, brigades here, folks. Look sharp and aim true. We're going to make it out of this. That's the Home Guard Commander. Am I going to be able to control the Home Guard, or are they just allies within the fight? Um, home guard units are cut off. Try to either regroup or flank the enemy. Uh, heavily armored units are slow but capable of dashing, leaping forward with powerful thrusters. Dash to evade fire and outmaneuver the enemy. Something tells me I can't control it. The enemy wields a beam weapon. The longer the beam stays on target, the higher damage it inflicts. Beams can't be turned quickly while firing. Stay mobile to avoid damage. Um, what 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 kind of freaking hooligan shit is? Is he curving over the building to shoot me? 
Is he shooting a rocket? What is your weapon? He's got a beam weapon. But he's also got a secondary, which I think is what he's going to fire. Yeah, he, he's pulling a secondary, it looks like. He's not firing with his main weapon. He put his beam on his back. Okay, I'm guessing that's like a rocket launcher thing. I really hate those. And I'm assuming I can't control the home guard? No, I can. Okay, dash. Activate thrusters to jump. Selective dash can be used to evade or gain an advantageous position. Breaks missile locks and prevents direct attacks. Okay, so you have an assault rifle and a shield. You also have an assault rifle and a shield. Can I dash up here? I can't, can I, I can dash on top of a building. That would be cool. Let's uh, let's just be freaking ninjas. Uh, can I get to any advantageous position here? Oh, right here. Oh wow, they are just going to light you up. Um, well, as soon as you get up there, <laughs> can I do an attack without getting absolutely butchered? Um, you're gonna overheat there. Let's just immediately deploy the shield in this direction. And for you, sir, once you get to the top, you are not going to be able to really shoot anything because you might get overheated there. Yeah, you're going to take a bit of damage, but no one's going to shoot you in the face, so that's nice. Actually, somebody might shoot you. No, you're not going to get shot in the face. It's fine. And you're going to get shot again. Sorry, hold on. So, hold on. Almost immediately after you're done getting shot, you're going to get shot again by oh boy over there. Um, just to make sure these don't overlap, you're going to block in that direction, and you're going to block that. All right, cool. Now, for our Phantom Brigade units, who are going to apparently get shot by a gosh dang missile launcher. Can I hop on top of this building? Oh, you can hop on top of this building. It is going to take you a while to hop on top of this building. Uh, wait, what are you? You're a sniper rifle. Wow, you don't... I guess it's a one-shot. He's gonna... Okay, he's gonna try to shoot at him behind the building. That's nice. Hopefully that rocket doesn't do anything super cool. Alright, whatever you fire, just try to kill him. Uh, you're gonna probably sprint in this direction. I'll just have you walk there. All right, let's go for it. Oh, that was cool. I just kind of hopped up there. Okay, the sniper missed, I think. Oh, he is going to walk over there. Uh, you just adjust course, please. Oh, I can't. Oh, wait, no, I can't stop it. Okay. Cool. So while he's kind of hopping over, I want you to just go alakablam, mess him up. And since he's kind of hopping over, you just hop down <laughs> and completely just take cover and avoid him. And shooting him immediately right there would be nice. All right, let's look at our home guard, the brethren. I kind of almost did forget about them. Thankfully, my shield soaked up all of that damage. Uh, so in the immediate right now, you're not going to get shot. But you will get shot here. And I want you to absorb that damage. And it seems like he's going to try to attack again. You, my good sir, are just going to immediately open up and then pursue. Pursue. Uh, yeah, he's going to overheat a bit. But that's a sacrifice, I think. I'm gonna act you know what? Nah, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay, I'm just going to replay that so we can see what the heck happened. But over here, we had a bit of a... Our sniper just kind of got shot in the face. And that beam held on to him pretty pretty long. And let's just kind of review what happened here uh, from the beginning, please.
Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go back to planning. I do not like that you got shot in the face like that. That was not okay. He's gonna shoot him again. Okay, well, yeah, sure, whatever. Um, can I just walk in his way? Curious what that's gonna do. And you're just gonna open fire, shoot him in the back of the face. Can I open fire again? Nope, that will overheat him. All right, but once you do that, you're gonna wait. Oh, that's how I measure out how long it waits. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, you're gonna wait till you're done firing, and then you're gonna run back here. All right, so it looks like the tanks are finally, did I disable this tank? No, it's about to actually open fire on the home guard unit right here. Can I just jump on, right side crashed. I'm just gonna jump on him, see if that does anything. And immediately after that, I will take some fire. Hopefully that crushes him. that. Um, you, sir, are going to immediately take fire from him, so you're going to raise your shield. And then I want you to kind of open fire at... Is it the mech that I want to kill? No, the mech's not even that damaged. Let's get rid of this tank. And uh, we're going to observe over here, and then we're going to replay. Actually, let's look over here first. I'm kind of interested in what... Uh, no, I'm most interested in what this, what this is going to do. So let's let's see here. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, wait, no, it worked. He, he jumped on top of him. Sorry, hold on. Let's just see that one more time. Okay. time just for over here it kind of looks like they collided yeah it looks like they collided interesting so there there is collision damage happening here did I take out that dude's arm I did blow off his arm it'd be really cool if I could target specific areas Okay, immediately shoot this guy in the face. Just kind of hop up there. Actually, kind of pursue him in a way. Yeah, just pursue him. And shoot him in the back of the head. <laughs> you go here, and you're just going to fire your secondary into his face. Oh, he's going to collide with me if I do that. Gonna fire your secondary again. All right. Hopefully that that's enough damage to kind of take care of that. It seems like the mech's gonna try to attempt to kill my boy here. So I'm going to immediately open fire on this. You are going to transition this way. You are going to open fire on that mech there. All right, let's look at this area first, and we'll actually, I'm kind of interested to see what the heck's going to happen over here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the, uh, the beam can really move. So let's go ahead and replay what, what the heck happened over here. Okay, the tank did die. Did our buddy take any damage from that? It seems like his shield is half raised. I think the shield took the brunt of that damage. Okay. Let's go back to planning. I will have you move here. And I will 
he's just going to open fire on... He's not even going to hit him. Um, Alright, let's just kind of get close here. You. You're going to move in this direction. I'm not entirely sure if he's going to block that shot, but if he's not, I want to be prepared. So we'll, we'll see if I actually need to block that shot. And over here, I believe we're going to probably finish off finish off our boy. You are going to take some cover back here, I think. And you're going to want to open fire on him. He's going to shoot him right around here, it seems like. And whenever you're out here, Alakablam. Uh, but first, am I going to shoot my boy in the face? I'm definitely going to shoot my boy in the face. Okay, let's not do that. I'd like, I'd like you to shoot whenever you're stationary. Can I actually just shoot here? When he's furthest away from me? It doesn't seem like I aim very well when I'm running. Okay, so let's, let's do that. I am literally amazed that this guy is still standing. What is he made of? Jeez. And let's just double check and see. Oh, did he actually take, take, take a pot shot? Did he go further? Was I just not paying attention? No, he didn't get through there. Oh, no, that's that's just his next movement, I see. Because um, this is quite a girthy movement. Let's go ahead and just walk here. I'm going to take some shots here. So let's block that. Let's move you around the edge here. Whenever you get a clear line of sight, shoot him in the face. You also shoot him in the face. <laughs> okay. We're going to get some nice shots in there. Uh, this guy, he's concussed. His pilot is concussed. The enemy pilot was knocked out from a concussive weapon. Their unit is intact. A great opportunity for salvage. Awesome. So I'm assuming we don't have to worry about him coming back. So I'm just going to run past him, hopefully not collide with him yet. Uh, you're going to go here. You know what, just to make doubly sure, because I really want to keep that pilot alive. No, he's fine. We'll go up here. See if I can get my sniper in an advantageous position. Let's not hit him. I would like his mech to stay alive. Um, let's see if I can get my, my mech over here for a good shot. But it looks like we're focused here. Okay, some nice side shots. Um, hold on, what happened here? Did I run into it and kill it? No, nope, he just kind of flopped over. Okay, thank goodness. Just wanted to make sure. Hopefully that means we can get another pilot and another mech on our team. That'd be really cool. Okay, you're gonna keep advancing. Are you going to take some shots? Yeah, you're going to take some shots. Okay, let's, again, block that. And you're just going to open fire after he's done shooting. And you, thankfully, don't really have to move at all. You're just going to open fire. Go for it. Oh, there goes the shield. He's going to take some fire again. Let's try to get you around the corner if I can. Yeah, you'll be able to get around the corner in time. Uh, but while you're running away, take a pot shot. You immediately open fire. How is our... Oh, wow. Can I do it, I wonder? Hold on, let me, let me see here. Let's wait till he's up there. Then I'm just going to fire. See if that sniper can hit anything. 
you're gonna move over here. Can you do it? Ooh! Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Shot my dude. Unit crashing. Ah, that's annoying. So I did fire, but I broke this dude's legs right in front of him, and that kinda... That's... That's frustrating. Okay, well, let's just move my... Can I get, like, an advantageous sniper position or anything at all? Okay, yeah, that'll be a lot better. You, my boy, if you can, whenever you can, you're going to get the heck out of there. He's going to take some shots, though. Thankfully, he's going to take shots on his turn where he can pull the shield up and protect himself. So we're going to get you out of there. You're going to immediately replace that dude's position and open fire. And I want you to move. Just one over. He's overheated. Is he just constantly overheated? Like, what's his deal? All right, whatever. Ah, and they're extremely slow because they're messed up legs. That's why their movement takes so long. Okay, well, you just cancel that movement and continue on your merry way. He's gonna shoot my freaking sniper. How dare you? Please take a pot shot and kill him. Everyone just just open fire. I forgot you have a shotgun. Uh, you are going to come over here. Do not bump into your friend. And you're going to come around. Do not bump into your friend. And open fire here. Alright, let's see how this goes. Okay, stop firing, it's concussed. Jeez. Okay, stop firing, it's concussed. Oh my gosh, I almost killed the pilot. Absolutely shredded that mech. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Alright, we have a heavy torso. That's just straight up salvage. Okay, cool. Tier 1 reach thruster. We just get these things from... Uh, dude. Okay, so we have a heavy torso, a handgun, a sniper rifle. Can I compare it to what I have? I'm not sure I can. I would like to compare the sniper rifles that I have uh, in my inventory. Locking. This weapon is more accurate when the user is stationary. It can still be fired when moving, but it uh, and in some cases it can be useful to do so, but firing will typically yield better results while stationary. Okay. It's ballistic. It's a handgun. I'm not sure. Oh, there's so much that I want. Yeah, like, that's not gonna happen. Uh, a heavy torso? Um, sure. I won't go for the heavy arm, though. I think I'll keep the, the heavy arms salvaged, especially since they're damaged. Um, I will also do that to you. I'll keep the legs. I'm not a big fan of the beams. This heavy torso, I will not take. Heavy torso, I will not take. Handgun, I would like to keep. Sniper rifle, I would like to keep. Heavy arm, heavy arm, heavy legs. Uh, I'm going to have to leave some stuff behind, aren't I? Let's just leave the arms behind. Let's just leave those two arms behind. Okay. Oh no. Okay. I hate abandoning stuff, but uh, here we are. Let's go for it. So we're at least getting some heavy legs. The Home Guard Commander thanks you for heeding their call, but their air still feels tense. One last run, the Home Guard Commander says, clapping you on the shoulder. You sense it's the beginning of a relationship. Neither the Brigade nor the Home Guard is alone in this war. As you liberate more provinces, more reputation with the army will come in handy. Okay. Silence commands the mobile base. With each scout, mechanic, and pilot staring down the map in the command room, before you can reclaim the province, one last fight remain uh, awaits you. A marker hovers over the site of the enemy base, the largest military installation in the region. The go home guard alerts you that they're on their way. The cackle of the comms uh, startling three of your crew out of their thoughts. Together, you will strike as a single unit. Everyone dashes to their stations, only the most necessary words passing among them. 
The base lurches into motion. The hope of victory and liberation will propel you forward. All right, let's uh, let's show them what for. Let's also review our units here. So this sniper rifle, we got a new sniper rifle, and it is not better than the one we already have. Okay, cool. Um, the handgun though, it is a little bit better. I would like that something at least. Um, Oh wow, these have... Can I like, see what their perk is? Bladed. The subsystem is welded into the part and can't be replaced, uh, so it gives more integrity. Light plate substantially reduces mass while decreasing integrity and barrier. Okay, so it's light armor. Heat generation, power thrust, optimized for a balanced performance. Oh, this is the thruster? Barrier regeneration? Heat dissipation. If this is the thruster, which I think it is, this is perfect for the sniper. It is light plate, but hey. I'm going to go ahead and give the heavy legs to my Elbrus here, which will increase its integrity. Though it has a lot lower heat dissipation. And this shield is a lot better. Do we have a better gun? I kind of want to give him a machine gun. I think I'm going to give him the hurricane. Because I, I really just want to have some decent range on him. Uh, what does more kinetic damage? Well, obviously the shotgun. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll keep him with the a machine gun. I, I noticed those home guard units had machine guns with their stuff, and I really liked that. Is it repairing? And also, it seems like I could get another unit. Number of units the base can store in service. Visit the upgrade screen to increase the capacity. Where's uh, where's the upgrade screen? Okay. <laughs> I guess uh, I don't have access to that quite yet. Standard workshop supplies, common composite electronics can be used to build common equipment. Okay, I think we're still in the middle of the... Uh, still in the middle of our stuff. Liquid fix, repair resources that use in the overworld are taken into combat by units with armor. I'm going to chill the heck out for a second. Because I'm not sure if liquid fix is... Uh... Oh, no, our stuff's repaired, okay. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's save the game, because uh, you never know. It really sucked to lose our, our units. Final Assault. Leave them alone for more than a couple seconds, and they'll absorb all the damage you deal out like it's nothing. A home guard scout reports as you near the enemy base. You've been focusing on one mech at a time in order to take them down. Worrying news, but forewarned is forearmed. Your crew is disciplined enough that you note their reaction only in the pilot's exchange glances. You run through a final check with your crew. This will be the greatest challenge the brigade has faced so far. Preparation is everything. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Attacking a heavily fortified military location. Eliminating all hostiles can be accomplished with three to four units. But be on your guard. We've got your back. Okay, so the home guard's helping out. There are a lot of freaking units here. Um... A mix of reserve troops? Okay. Sheer numbers. They're already here. Enemies are ready to immediately engage. They brought they've brought back up. Reinforcements are on the perimeter and may hold and may deploy during the battle. Alright, I don't like that. But uh, we'll try to stop that from happening. We got our sniper for the longbow, and we got our protector with the machine gun, so let's go for it. Attacking at 5.30 in the morning. Goodness. That means they probably had to wake up at 3 or 2 just to get ready for everything. Ugh. Military formations be like. Wow, there is a lot of crap here. Hopefully we get to take this military base. Priority info from home guard. Enemy stronghold is a generator powering perimeter turrets. Advise knocking that out for an easier fight. <laughs> You're freaking kidding me. Echo whiskey assets are degraded enemy comms. Recommend we mop them up before reinforcements arrive. Okay, this is Magistrate Actual. Radio check over. Any call sign copy my last. Requesting backup immediately. We have contact with the Walker Squad. General, please, no. 
All right, Terrence. This location is protected by Terrence. Terrence will scan the area and fire on units in range. Stay out of range to avoid damage. Destroying this generator will disable Terrence. Try using the Home Guard Mech's long range beam to do the job. Home Guard units have a powerful melee weapon. Oh, we have melee! Uh, to melee, select a designation and the mech will fly toward it, uh, striking it. targets in its path. A dash. Or melee. Perform close range attacks with the primary weapon. Okay. Just melee everything above range limit. Okay. Interesting. I like that. I really do. Uh, we got our home guard units here. I'm going to set my longbow up here. Ugh. Wait, do you have the beam weapon? Is that you? Heavy MLS. Who has the beam weapon? You have a secondary, which is a one-shot MLS. That's the missile launcher. I'm assuming you have the beam. Yeah, the solar burst. Okay, I'm assuming that's him. Let's uh, let's bring you down here, and I'm gonna want you to open fire if you can on this is the generator, right? Open fire on that. So you're gonna gonna be able to shoot it all the way down. Nice. You're gonna overheat too, and I want you to get up on this hill. Someone's going to freaking shoot at you. Oh, wow, you are going to get shot to hell. Okay. Can you, like... I would like you to fire at somebody, at least. Um, You'll just take a pot shot at him. Let's see if you can take him out. Keep that sniper in the rear. Um, You are just ready to fight, aren't you? But you're super vulnerable to damage. And you're probably going to get shot in the face, aren't you? By that tank. Okay, what is the range on these things? I'm not sure. I wish I could tell, but I'm not sure. Anyway, he's going to need to get into like actual combat, so... Take a shot with your MLRS. And then... I kind of still want you to wait. And then I want you to move here. And then just melee attack it. Wait, hold on. It's a movement? Okay. Wait, hold on. I want you to wait hill right around here and then you're gonna do the melee movement here I think that's gonna do something I don't know it's probably gonna get him killed probably is what it's gonna do and this dude's gonna miss his freaking shot is this a sniper no he just has a machine gun okay well we got a lot of dudes uh, shooting at the generator I'm just gonna add one more guy to shoot at the generator here. It's going to be my homeboy. And he's just going to open fire on that. And hopefully hit it. And everyone seems like they're going to miss their shots. He's going to freaking annihilate that guy, this melee. I'm interested to see how this will go. Did we kill the generator? Kill the generator. Um, destroyed the generator to disable target. Okay, we got one more shot to do. I kind of want to replay this uh, this attack here. So we have that going. That MLRS. It seemed like he swung before he hit him. I don't know. That was weird. All right, cool. That was awesome. Love a bit of melee. Oh yeah, did I shoot that guy over there? Sorry, hold on. I just want to see if my sniper actually accomplished anything. Oh, it looks like he shot him. Brought him to his knees. Okay. So you're just gonna freaking melee his ass again. Below minimum range. 
you're just going to slice him in half again. Uh, it looks like the turret's going to activate, like, literally this turn. I'm scared. Um, you're going to move up here, and you're going to immediately open fire on the beam. Or on the generator there, hopefully killing it. Who's going to take damage this turn? It's going to be that guy. Um, I want you to open fire on that. I just want to make sure that that generator's gonna, the generator should die. I'm, I'm confident the generator will die. You're just going to open fire on that. Um, you're not going to hit. You will shoot at that tank, though. Make sure to take that tank out. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, generator literally just went down, I think, as my homeboy here walked out. Oh, he's going to take some L MLRS. Ooh, okay, uh... Good work on destroying that generator commander. Turn should be down now. Uh, I'm assuming we're gonna have to focus on that now so reinforcements don't get here. This dude is about to eat some stuff. Uh, you're going to dash immediately to your left and try to avoid that. No, immediately dash to your left. You cannot. He's gonna overheat a little bit. So I'll say that that's his turn. Well, right around here, you can open fire. Yep, shoot him. Sniper is overheated. Hopefully I don't shoot my guy in the face here. I still can't really get a beat on him. Wait, can I shoot through this? I think I... No, it's blocked. All right, let's just... We took care of that tank, it looks like. Let's shoot him in the face. And then... Whenever you're not... Busy. Again. Um, I need to move him out of the way, though. Because his big old head's going to be in the way. What about you? You're not going to shoot him in the back of the head, are you? Boom. Boom. Okay, now you should be good. And you are going to move up and just generally open fire on this tank over here. Okay, first shot, just open fire. And open fire again. Alright, you just continue to melee the shit out of this guy. Um... Is this going to hit him? I'm not sure. I hope it does. I'm not sure if I need to like make this guy in in the way of this slash. I'm com I am unsure. I'm going to swing though, and hopefully decapitate him. All right, let's go for it. Oh, completely avoid that missile lock. Nice. All right, we did a good job of gunning everybody down in the beginning there. And it looks like I did get him. Oh yeah, smacked him. So anyone in the way of that melee is just gonna get it. And it looks like I literally just straight cut his upper torso in half. All right, we are going to, oh, I can't just cancel that fire. But whenever you're down here, you're gonna shoot that. Is that tank dead? Uh, no, it's still alive. You're gonna shoot him. Heck that relay station. Please stop lasering each other. I don't know why he's doing that. And you're gonna shoot him in the face. Whenever you're done there, you're going to move. Wait, you're going to wait, sorry. About the duration of your fire. And then you're going to move. Uh, and you're going to open fire here on that. He's going to overheat. I'll, I'll just take a chill pill for him for right now. You're going to wait till 
he gets around the corner, and then you're just gonna slice him up. Alright, let's go for it. Okay, there goes the reinforcements. That dude's legs are gone. Um, I'm just gonna have you run over here. And I'm gonna have you dash. No, not dash, sorry. No, don't wait, you're gonna move. You're gonna move, dang it. At least over here. I'm gonna have you get on top of this advantageous position here. Is that another reinforcement thing? Um, is that another reinforcement thing over there? I think it is. I'm not exactly sure what the heck. Here, you just... Whenever you get here, line up a shot on that tower. And while you are moving in this direction, I want you to open fire on this building. And, like, you are overheated. You're gonna need to chill out. Let's not forget to add a melee attack. <laughs> Magistrate Actual, this Guardian 1. Say again your coordinates for contact. Your transmission is good, but distorted it over. This is the Guardian 1. They're at the base requesting immediate assistance over. Hey, you guys should stop that. Is this the comm tower I need to shoot? I'm I'm very unsure. Here, you continue to open fire on this. Blocked. No, just hit that. Seems like right there is kind of like the area where I can shoot again without overheating. Yeah, we should be good there. Okay, you just open fire on this thing. Kill it, please. I'm not exactly sure what the what the heck's going on in terms of all that no nonsense, but another melee attack. <laughs> please kill him. And then whenever you're done murdering him, you're gonna move over here and just kind of get out of the way. And you open fire on this, please. And then whenever you're about to take some damage, you will you'll block right around here. From here? Okay, let's do that. Wow, it doesn't seem like I'm going to be able to hit that thing at all. Cool. That's lovely. Is he dead, though? I think he's murdered. Um, crap. All right, well... Not a whole lot we can do about it. Besides get ready for enemy reinforcements, me thinks. Wow, you were just you you need to cool off. You're doing too much damage to yourself. Well, I'm doing too much damage to you. <laughs> You're doing too much damage to yourself. Literally me killing him. Just do another attack right there, whenever you can. Can you fire a missile for me, sir? And make sure it hits there. And if you can, do it one more time. Right there. You're going to overheat? Let's just do it towards the end of his turn. Well, I can't do it towards the end of his turn, actually, because uh, that's when... I need him to actually hit the target. Same for you. I need you to, like, go all out and actually destroy this. We are going to take some overheat this turn, but I'm going to make sure this guy doesn't overheat. Okay, units without orders. What do you mean units without orders? Oh, you? Um, sure, just help shoot this thing. Wait, hang on it. Yep, shoot it in the face. Okay. Good thing it warns us about that.
Doesn't seem like that did it. Reinforcements imminent. This makes me sad. Okay, well. Potato, potato, potato. Why are you... Hmm. Wow, that overheat, I think, really damaged him. Alright, well, let's execute units without orders. That's fine. Wow, that is a lot of enemies. Guardian 1 on site, engaging rebel armies. Those are... mechs. Appreciated Guardian 1, coordinating fire arcs with you. Out. So we have two shield guys and some tanks. I'm going to move you up on top of this hill here. Uh, I'm going to have you take cover, methinks. And melee. Oh, you're detected? You can be stealthed? That is awesome. You are going to probably chill all the way back here. Because I do not want you getting shot. Well, that's blocked. So is that. That's also blocked. It's also blocked. Oh, they're going to fire those MLRSs. That's still blocked. He's able to get a beat on me because that MLRS. That's frustrating. Yeah, you just head over there. You might take a missile to the face. It's okay. Life be like that sometimes. Uh, you're going to fire your secondary right at my boy here. Out of range. shots are going to happen, but most of them are going to be blocked by buildings. Why is he slow? Okay, I shot the building. Lovely. Uh, he's been detected. <laughs> okay. That's, that's lovely. What the hell is this? Those are missiles coming at me. Can you run for your life and not get shot? Uh, we'll find out, I guess. Can I open fire and hit you, though? No, I can't. I'm going to cross here. Take a bit of shield action. Okay, that tank is going to open fire. Block it. Uh, you are going to run over here. And just try to get as close as possible. You're overheated? How do I not heat you up? Liquid fix. Barrier armor can be generated if the unit is not under fire. There's no barrier on you, though. Um, can I get a laser beam, please? I'm going to say laser beam that guy in the face. Out of range, really? I have a feeling I'm going to be able to hit you, though. They are really trying to shoot my sniper right now. Wow, that is a lot of missiles. Oh, please tell. That missile's going to hit him. Dang it, that's so annoying. Um, okay, sniper's going to come out. You're going to come around this corner. Wait, you're going to wait a little bit. And then you're going to come around the corner. And shoot him in the freaking face. Alright, 
you melee his ass. Right behind cover. Collision. That's kind of what I want, isn't it? Oh, collision with the, the building. All right. Well, let's open fire. Yet again. Let's wait till you're like not overheated. All right, cool. Uh, just to open fire on that there. And you are also gonna open fire on. Wait, wait till that guy gets out from behind cover. Shoot him in the face. Ow. There goes that tank. It, it's dead. It's it's dead. I'm firing another MLRS. I really hate those things. They are pretty potent. This dude is just going to freaking town. Do I have to cut him like this? Let's slice him in half then. I cannot wait to shoot this guy. He's going to collide with me. And they are going to keep shooting my sniper. Because they hate me. And I'm really kind of annoyed by that, honestly. Wait, you're going to miss, aren't you? Yeah. Um, let's just kind of get you out into the area here. Boop. And whenever he's on solid ground, open fire. And I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to open fire again. Be sure to kill him. <laughs> Alright, you're attacking. You're going to kill him. You're going to freaking melee this dude. And he's going to keep running. Wait, sorry. You're going to melee him. And then he's going to continue to run. And you're just going to slide through him and cut him in half again. Because one wasn't enough. And we're getting pretty close to overheating there, so I'll leave it at that. Why did those detonate before they hit me? I wonder. Okay, like what, what happened here with the melee? Lice absolutely destroyed his legs, and I smacked him in the back of the head again. And we're taking laser fire right there. He's cutting straight through the building, too. That guy's down. Where's the tank? The tank is right here. Okay. Well, the tank's gonna come in and immediately open fire. We're gonna close the distance here and try to get to him. And he's immediately gonna open fire on us. I'm just gonna raise my shield against him. It's the best I can do. Don't want to take any damage. My sniper is getting absolutely smacked. Let's just put you out in the road here. Open fire. And I'm going to open fire one more time. Make sure he dies. And I'm just going to kind of back my guy up here. See if I can have him shoot this guy. He's going to pop up and then over. Units without orders. You? You do have orders. You have orders. You have orders. And you have orders. Yeah, I just want him to kind of sit there and shoot. Okay, well, he's definitely dead. Yeah, that tank's going to open fire. He'll conclude his fire. And I'll just open up there. You fire your secondary at that tank. And just fired it again. <laughs> and you just absolutely open fire on that tank. And I want you to run up here if you can. Wait for this guy to get kind of. No, no, I said wait. Wait for him to kind of get out in the open. And then take the shot.
Uh, need him to wait a little while longer. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, right. Right here should be good, I think. That should be a good shot. Yeah, it should be a... Uh, gosh, I hope it makes contact. <sighs> Hold on, let me... Let me just make sure I can actually hit him. It seems like he needs to be, like, down the ramp before I can actually shoot at him. No. There we go. I have to take a pot shot there. a little bit. Just trying to get the the right shot here. Bang. Hopefully we'll be able to hit him. Uh, you're going to block that first shot. You're going to shoot and you're going to move at the same time. Wait, hold on. You're going to wait until you start taking the shot and then you're going to move. Note to self, Beam can fly through the building. There goes a missile. And Bob's your uncle. That's good kill. Good kill. All around. Wow, there's a lot of stuff to collect. Okay, we have a heavy torso here. Um, it is damaged. We got a, a better shield. An S5 shield. Might take that. These MLRs are cool for long-range artillery, I'm thinking, so... Probably don't really want those. Got a Typhoon machine gun. Got an assault rifle, an AR-2 burst. Got some medium legs there, I kind of want those. That'll be good for our sniper, I kind of want to keep our sniper... A, like a decent medium-sized mech, so let's go ahead and take most all of that. Um, let's take a firewall. I will salvage most everything here. I'd like to do the same here and here. Oh, if only. Uh, I do want this firewall shields. Heavy torso. Heat dissipation 20. 20.9. I will just say screw this mech. say screw this mech. I will take the cluster though. I kind of want to build a heavy artillery mech later, so I will I will stay undecided for now on all that. Get rid of this heavy arm, get rid of that, get rid of the heavy legs, keep the machine gun, get rid of that wall. Scrap that. Okay, well it looks like we're gonna go for that right now. Start the salvaging. A province liberated. Thanks to your efforts, the enemy is driven out of the contested province. Resistance forces will hold it from here on out. World of victories brings contagious joy. Uh, or word of victories brings contagious joy. Even your most stoic mechanic breaks into a teary grin upon your return from battle. When one of your pilots does a celebratory shuffle in their mech, giant metal feet scraping across the earth, you don't even have the heart to lecture them. You know the war will be tough, and some of your crew are so young, you let their relieved laughter wash over you, a pressure valve released. Ahead, there may be grim days. For now, in this moment, there is hope. Okay. A free head mark. Head mark, is that what we are? And in the days following the victory at the bay, celebrations erupt across the province. The brigade is offered a special place in a small village parade. Your mechs leading a procession of farm trucks and horses. There seems no end to the gifts of farm fresh homemade treats. Your sweet tooth pilot can't bring themselves to turn down a single cobbler or strugal, and will almost certainly be contented ill by the end's night. <laughs> Good. The villagers want to know the brigade stories, who your families are, and what provinces you call home. Just as there are not only people to save, you're more than soldiers. Uh, join. Meet the people you fought for. Okay. With headmark secure, 
You can advance into the next province, but now that the enemy is aware of the Phantom Brigade's presence, the fights ahead will be even more challenging. Tread lightly. Patrols roaming the province ahead will pursue and engage you on sight. While not permittable, patrols are not always worth engaging. Consider upgrading the base to outrun, stun, or outmaneuver them. The escalation level rises with every attack. Every hour spent in hostile territory. As the level increases, fights will be more difficult. Consider retreating to Headmark to lay low and resupply if things get too hectic. How you proceed next is up to you. Invest resources in upgrading the base or building more mechs. Contested, contest the province immediately or explore sites like the workshops first. There are many paths to victory. Okay. So we got overdrive. What is this? The amount of battery power available to the mobile base can be spent to boost speed or cloak the base, regenerated when the base is at normal speed or stationary. Alright, and we got our workshop here. Uh, the mobile base is equipped to do more than repairs. Advanced printers and manipulators can assemble almost anything. Given time, resources, and a blueprint to follow, build additional mechs to expand your squad, and raid enemy convoys to acquire additional blueprints. And we have upgrades. You can spend resources to expand the capabilities of the mobile base in many different ways. Abilities to cloak the base, to outrun the enemy, or to outright stun them, but a few of the options available through upgrading. Alright. Um... That's awesome. All right, well, I think this will be a good stopping point. Thank you all for joining. I hope you're enjoying, and I'm really excited for this game. It's it's a really cute game, a really cool looking one too. And uh, look at all this land. This is going to be a long campaign, and I cannot wait to make so many different mechs, melee mechs, artillery mechs. I'm probably overwhelmingly gonna keep a lot of sniper mechs in my squads, because that's just, kind of who I am. I like long range uh, precision strikes. I think they're just so effective. But we're starting here in Headmark. And soon, hopefully, we'll be able to liberate, I guess, our entire, I guess this is our entire country, or like maybe a, a region or a province of our entire country. It'd be cool if new areas opened up, like over here, where we can continue on the fight. Like, I, I would look forward to seeing this become a long, long playthrough. But uh, until then, uh hope you're enjoying again i hope uh you're gonna stick around and um hopefully we can bring victory to our country until then bye everybody